it's still hot. It's, it's quality. It's, it's uh, just look at her. <laughs> Double text got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm selling. Double text. Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Flowers. Welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title, we'll be talking about Kurt Geiger and we're going to talk about just the review of the bag and also what fits inside. So let's get started. So let's jump right into the bag. The bag that we're talking about today is going to be the Kensington black bag with the gold hardware. And let me tell you, love her love just look at the look at the quality of the bag i just recently purchased this and as you can see it's just super sleek super um just a classic touch to your wardrobe it has the gold detailing and um i really love this one this is the regular size kensington um and it's just everything we're gonna get into some more details about it in a second um this bag retails for i believe 295 i believe let me double check that in a moment <laughs> So yes, this bag was $2.85 actually. They have so many different styles and just different colors to choose from. As you guys saw, I have the black and gold, but they have an all black one, which I will just put everything over here on the screen. So they have an all black Kurt Geiger bag. They have some colorful colors. I saw an all white one, which I really thought was beautiful, um, but I was personally going for a more classic look, that classic black bag everyday basic look but the white is definitely like on my radar <laughs> the white one's really pretty um of course they have some colors for you guys they have a a new one actually on here that i'm looking at now that i did not see before but this color is like a blush color so it's like a light pretty pink just gorgeous so many different things to choose from they have some bag with some sequins i see some green on here and i really do like kurt geiger because they just have a bunch of different styles like i mentioned so when you click this home screen and you click on bags they, sh they tell you their different variety of bags so you see they have crossbody kensington mid mini bags shore ditch bags shoulder bags tote bags wallets um and the bag that i am reviewing is the kensington like i said and just super super cute um quality i would say especially for the price um it's definitely comparable to something like the chanel bag like if you're not in that price range yet um the, the kurt geiger is perfect um and as you guys can see they have the xxl here they have the mini bags they have this they have a small camera bag <laughs> they have the micro bag um, they have an, they also have a soft version of the bag that I have. Um, I would imagine that one just has less of a shape than the one that I have now. And I do like the one that I have, the regular Kensington, because it does have some structure to the bag. It's not like it's going to just be plopping, fending, um, bending, folding all over the place. So I really do like the structure of the regular Kensington. And like I said, they have, I believe they have a large bag on here as well. As you guys can see, they have the heart bag here. So the Kensington is just so cute i absolutely love the kensington and i've been seeing it so much lately um just people posting kurt geiger bags and i think everyone's hopping on the wave right now and i'm all for it <laughs> so when you first purchase the bag it does come um the straps are all covered in plastic um as well as um the handles here and i can say it was kind of difficult to get off like of course it's like a ch it's wrapped around the chain so I was kind of struggling to get the, <laughs> the plastic off of the chains but I really did appreciate that because it definitely kept the bag protected. Um, the inside they do put the paper inside which I do stuff back inside so that I'm not like so that I'm, I, I feel like I'm keeping the form. I don't really know if that works but <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm helping to keep it shaped. So um, the bag also did come with like a dust bag, which I do store the bag in now. Um, and just as you guys can see, like I said, it does have a really good shape. This is pretty sturdy. Like it's pretty sturdy. Like I don't know what's in there, but it's pretty sturdy. Um, and I really do really like the shape of this. It's just perfect to just throw over your shoulder. Um, it does have the Kurt Geiger, like, um, I don't know what this will be called. Not like an emblem, but like. A stamp <laughs> I guess it does have the Kurt Geiger stamp on the back um, of course it just says Kurt Geiger London um, the chains really are like this really pretty gold it's not like that silverish gold like that really light color gold you know how sometimes gold can look like really pale a little bit it's I do really like this darker deep really pretty gold and of course the eagle and inside of the eagle has like these little crystals or these little jewels um let me see if i can get you guys really close in to see you guys can kind of see those little jewels inside of there so it's just 
uh, it's everything and um, I'm gonna keep saying that <laughs> as the video goes on of course and um, later on in the video I will tell you guys some things that I wish was a little bit different um, about the bag but we're gonna get to that so one thing that I really like about the bag as well is just this double snap it has a button here and a button here I know some bags just have that middle button but I really do like the two button and I think it's kind of unique just because um, it just gives a little extra like security almost like the two just feels a little bit more like two is better than one like I, I kind of feel like that um, and they snap pretty easily you don't have to worry about trying to um, struggle with trying to snap them they snap pretty easily it's not like you're gonna be sitting here trying to fish for it and just trying to snap it and it's taking you a million years like it's really easy to snap back into place so you don't have to worry about struggling with that too much um, I really do like also with the design how um it's different it goes different ways like this is like the triangular look and then appears more like quilted um it kind of creates a pretty contrast to me um and it's just like i said really soft and the inside of the bag it just has these two compartments and this front compartment is bigger than the back one um but it's still pretty spacious i did fit some things in here earlier um and it, like i said it's just pretty spacious now one thing that i will say about the inside of the bag it's just this flap here it's just this little singular flap inside of the bag i would have appreciated it if it had like a zipper of some sort like if i could actually store something in something a little bit more securely like okay yes it has the snaps that's cool but if it had a zipper I feel like that would just make the bag just kind of elevated a little bit if it had like an inside zipper that's just my own personal thing um but there's just one singular flap inside of there and it's just a flap on the back the back opening and not on the front um I will say with the bag um the chains are kind of like in the way just a little bit of that back flap like it almost seems like you can only put stuff in this very middle part as opposed to having the full width of the bag to store stuff like the chains you kind of have to maneuver around if you really intend on putting a lot in the back as well um but the chains move really easily like it's a really easy bag to maneuver the chains um are pretty sturdy but they move pretty easily so I do really like that about the bag even though the chains are kind of in the way um, I do really like that about the bag as well so one thing that I did notice um, when I kind of see other bags I know that some bags will have like the pocket in the back and as you can see it doesn't have like a little pocket in the back it's really just that only one pocket inside of the bag and I guess that's okay for storage um, but um, I think another little pocket just somewhere would have been cute not on the front but you know <laughs> somewhere else would have been cute um but as far as the design of the bag i really do enjoy it and it's really easy to just throw on your shoulder um it's really easy to switch the chains as well you can wear this as just a singular chain um just in a singular way <laughs> or you can just pull this up and wear it as a shoulder bag which is really my preference i love it as a shoulder bag it's just so cute and um they're really easy to switch so if you do want to just switch it it's just a easy as one two three you just pull that bad boy back in there so um <laughs> i really do like that but like i said i'm a shoulder strap girl so super cute <laughs> i know some people like crossbody bags I've never tried it in a crossbody way. I'm not sure exactly how that would look. Let me let me just see. Crossbody? Okay, not too bad as a crossbody. Crossbody would just look like this. Um and like I said, I am a shoulder strap girl. But this will be nice if you're maybe traveling or something. Um, sorry, I keep standing up and down. But this will be nice if maybe you're traveling somewhere and you kind of want the bag to be a little bit more secure. You can do the side. The strap is long enough for you to do it that way as well. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's not an investment. Or I guess it depends on what your idea of an investment is. But I will say that it's not one of those bags that you have to really, really save, save, save for. Like those other high-end bags, it's still a bag of quality. So if you do end up getting one of these, I feel like it will last you a long time. And it'll still look just as good if your price point isn't at Chanel, isn't at, what other bags do this? Um, even Coach can be kind of expensive. Maybe the same style. Um, I know Bottega bags are really in right now. So if your price point isn't there, this is just perfect, I feel like. And um, it's, it's also it's luxury so we love that <laughs> so I will say with the bottom of the bag 
it does have a bit of structure to it but you ever see, i like the bags with the little like little knobs <laughs> the little like feet i do like the bags that have the feet just to kind of protect the bottom of the bag um of course with wear and tear you're gonna end up getting you're gonna see the bat the bottom of the bag just kind of naturally get a little ruined so it would have been nice to see something at the bottom but um it's still hot it's, it's quality it's it's just look at her <laughs> so I'm gonna flip you guys around in a moment just so that we can go over exactly kind of what I carry in my bag and kind of what fits in the bag as well um like I said the front pocket is a little bit more spacious than the back but let's see what we can do with mr. Kurt Geiger here <laughs> so here I have everything that I would generally carry in a bag um so let's see like what exactly I would be able to fit as you guys can see the chain here you know um it wouldn't really it's not gonna bother me tremendously but it's just something to keep note of that this is like you know there so um let's start with my wallet everything that i have is generally pretty small so if you have a wallet that's much bigger than this then of course you would have a little bit more trouble than i will and i'm gonna just put that in the front flap because like i said earlier the front flap sorry i'm dropping stuff the front flap is bigger than the back one here so um, I have some hand sanitizer spray, so let's just throw that in there. Um, I have some mace, <laughs> so let's just throw that in there. Um, so now, let me see, which, how should I reorganize? Let me actually put this in the back. I'm actually going to put this in the back. So yeah, that fits perfectly fine in the back. Um, now I do, I can get a smaller hand lotion. So this is not really much of an issue, but it is kind of bigger. Um, I'm just going to see like what it's going to look like. Hmm. So it does kind of fit in there, <laughs> but it's a little, little bulgy, just a little bit right here. Um, but that's just, that's just a thought. So let me move, I'm going to move my wallet over. So it's not too terrible. So I do have some AirPods here. So I'm going to slide that back there with my, with my bag. Um, other things would be like lip gloss, gum. So these are very small things that really can just be thrown in. Some lip balm can really just be thrown in. Um, a face mask, of course, I would have. So let's slide that back there in that little back flap. Um, maybe a little perfume. Throw that in there. This is like, like I said, generally the things that I carry with me. Um, a camera battery and probably some holes. So that's like the main things. And then my phone. Let me throw my phone in the back flap and see what it's looking like so let me go ahead and close her and okay it's not too terrible as you guys can see they snap pretty easily and okay see it's not too too bad um that bum bum cream lotion in there is literally right here so it's kind of it's not too bulgy as you guys you guys will see it bulging and poking out but um if everything really fits perfectly i'm actually pleasantly happy by that so thank you guys so, so much for watching my Kurt Geiger review. I hope that you guys like the bag just as much as I do. I do intend on pretty much wearing it like every day <laughs> or almost every day. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy. The link will be down below if you're interested in Kurt Geiger. Or just check out the site to see what else they have to offer. Um, the site also offers um, shoes. Um, I haven't bought a pair of shoes from Kurt Geiger just yet. But check them out. See what they have for you. See if you like anything. And comment down below which bag you would try yourself. See you guys in the next video. Double text.